Good afternoon, everyone out in Redeemer land and people joining us on the internet around the world. We'll uh, be looking at our epistle reading for this week. And the epistle reading is from Romans chapter 12, verses 9 to 21. Romans chapter 12, verses 9 to 21. Let love be genuine. Abhor what is evil. Hold fast to what is good. Love one another with brotherly affection. Outdo one another in showing honor. Do not be slothful in zeal. Be fervent in spirit. Serve the Lord. Rejoice in hope. Be patient in tribulation. Be constant in prayer. Contribute to the needs of the saints and seek to show hospitality. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse them. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Weep with those who weep. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be haughty, but associate with the lowly. Never be conceited. Repay no one evil for evil, but give thought to do what is honorable in the sight of all. If possible, so far as it depends on you, live peaceably with all. Rejoice, beloved, never avenge yourselves, but leave it to the wrath of God, for it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. To the contrary, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him something to drink. For by doing so, you will heap burning coals on his head. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. <clears throat> I, I hope that you've seen the news and have been watching what's going on in Kenosha, Wisconsin, and in Portland, Oregon, and seeing uh, how these protests are, are continuing and it's sad what happened in Kenosha I don't know the details of who threatened who or who shot who first and it really doesn't matter what we need to hear is God's word and what we need to hear in God's word is you know the portion where Paul writes repay no one evil for evil but give thought to what is honorable in the sight of all. If possible, so far as it depends on you, live peaceably with all. Beloved, never avenge yourselves, but leave it to the wrath of God. For it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. For some reason, you know, there's a great deal of our young people who have gotten the idea that taking vengeance is uh, what is important. So take vengeance against police, take vengeance against the community, take vengeance because we're angry, take vengeance because we're frustrated, take vengeance because we want to be heard. And who's bringing it? Certainly not the family of the, the victims, certainly not those who were most wronged by this, People who are angry because they felt it was wrong and nothing has yet been done. And it's so important for us to recognize that this is not the way that we as Christians are to do things. No Christian should be involved in violent protests of any nature. We need to hear Paul's words and reflect the love of our Savior. Reflect the love of our Savior in everything that we do. Reflect the love of our Savior in every action we take. Paul begins the verse by saying, let love be genuine. And so it is. Our love for each other and our love for those around us needs to reflect the love that Jesus had for us. A selfless love sacrificial love not seeking to avenge not seeking uh, violence but showing kindness mercy 
Listen, love, love one another with brotherly affection. Outdo one another in showing honor. Do not be slothful in zeal. Be fervent in spirit. Rejoice in hope. Be patient in tribulation. Be constant in prayer. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse them. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Weep with those who weep. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be haughty. But be associated with never be conceited. You know, it's, it's Paul's desire for us as Christians to show a much different image to the world than what the world shows to one another. The world shows violence for violence, hatred for hatred, vengeance in, in the face of injustice. But God shows us love, mercy, kindness, grace, forgiveness. That's what God shows. And that's what we need to show in our world, especially now. Especially right now in the midst of all the civil unrest, we need to show these things. And we need to help others see them through our witness, through our actions, through our kindness, through our love for the world and for one another. Jesus gave himself for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son. God gave us his son, set us free from sin and death. God didn't take vengeance against us for our sins. God took vengeance on his own son. And that vengeance sets us free from our sin. And God shows his love for us. And that while we were still sinners, Jesus died for us. So as God loves us, let us love one another. Let us show a different path than what the world is showing. In Paul's final words. To the contrary, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he's thirsty, give him something to drink. For by so doing, you will heap burning coals on his head. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Overcome evil with good good. May the goodness of our Savior and his love dwell in us, fill us, and move us to overcome evil with the good of our Savior, Jesus Christ. In his name, amen. Let's pray. Dear Lord Jesus, you overcame evil by giving sacrificial love to us from the cross. And we pray that you would help us by the power of your Holy Spirit to overcome evil with good. Temptation for vengeance is great. Temptation to anger and bitterness is great. Help us to set that aside and to look for good. Look to show good. Look to share good. Look to be good by loving loving in a genuine way as you did. In your name we pray. Amen. Blessings all and have a, a blessed Wednesday and uh, we will see you uh, tomorrow at noon for tomorrow's devotion, the last one for this week. God bless. Have a great day.